Hi everyone, it's Sandy and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my favorite childhood books. So before I get into the video, I wanted to quickly mention that all the books that I'm showing are books that I checked out from the library. I unfortunately got rid of all of my childhood books a few years back and I really regret that decision, but thankfully I have the library to rely on to check out these books so that I can show a physical copy of it because I feel like that's more sentimental in a way. I'm going to start off with the three childhood books that I currently don't have copies of and they're definitely geared towards a much younger audience and those books are Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, Brown Bear Brown Bear What Do You See and The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I don't really have much to say about these three books but I remember that I was constantly rereading them and whenever I would go to the library I would seek out these books to read. My next favorite childhood books are actually part of this very large series that I didn't know how big it has gotten until I went to the library to find these books. This series is called the Rainbow Magic Series by Daisy Meadows. I remember first discovering these books through the Scholastic Book Fair or even like from the Scholastic Book Orders. The whole series started with the Rainbow Fairies I believe. The first one I distinctly remember is Ruby the Red Fairy. I believe that was the very first book that started everything. But now there are so many different types of fairies. I have four different fairy books that I checked out. The first one is Isabel the Ice Dance Fairy. So there are now dance fairies. There are also music fairies and I have Poppy the Piano Fairy. There are also jewel fairies and this one is Amy the Amethyst Fairy. And then I also have a weather fairies book which is Abigail the breeze fairy So there are definitely a lot more different types of fairies around these books were just so much fun There are even little like illustrations in them if you've been watching my channel for a while now Then you know that I have a love for reading mystery thriller books My love for that genre began with the A to Z mysteries by Ron Roy This is an entire series that follows three kids as they solve different types of mysteries There are 26 books in the series one for each letter right now. I currently have four books on me and the first one is the absent author then I have the haunted hotel the deadly dungeon and the lucky lottery I do remember that I read all the books in the series so I'm really proud about that there are also illustrations scattered throughout the books as well so that's pretty cool I also really enjoyed reading Junie B Jones by Barbara Park the two books that I currently have on me now follows Junie B Jones as she's in first grade the first one is toothless wonder and then the second one is boo and I mean it I just remember these books being super silly and super funny as well. Another mystery series that I was really into when I was younger is The New Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley. There were a bunch of books in the series and I don't think I read through all of them but I did read a chunk. I remember one time that I found someone on eBay who was selling a stack of these books and I asked my dad if he could buy them and he did and I flew through all those books once they arrived at my house. There were also like other Mary Kate and Ashley books that when they were older that I read as well but I can't remember what they were called. Another favorite childhood series of mine are the Katie Kazoo Switcheroo series by Nancy Krulik and this whole series basically follows this girl named Katie and in each book she switches bodies with either another person or another animal and then the story goes from there. So I have four books checked out from the library. The first one is Anyone But Me. Then I have Horsing Around, Red, White, and a Chew. And lastly I have Flower Power. I know I've already said this a lot for all the previous books that I mentioned but these books were just super fun to read. When I was younger I attended the summer program and every week or so the teachers would take us to Borders. I don't know why they did that because having a bunch of kids in an actual bookstore and not the library library is just a little bit chaotic. When we would go there I would always go to the children's section and I always pick up one of these books and read while I was there. I also owned a collection of all these books but then I gave all those books away so I don't have any of the books with me. So now I'm going to talk about the books that I read between 6th to 8th grade. First one are the Candy Apple books and there are different types of books. They all follow different characters, different storylines, and also a bunch of different authors would write these books so it's not the same author every time. But this is the first book that I remember picking up from the series and this one is called The Accidental Cheer leader by Mimi McCoy. A lot of these books have to do with friendships and boys and there was also drama in these books so I was all for it as a 12, 13 year old. And then I was also into the My Sister the Vampire by Sienna Mercer. This is the first book and it's called Switched. What I can remember about the series is that it follows two girls who are identical twins but they grew up separately and one day one of the twins moves to the same town that the other twin lives in. They discover that they are sisters but then also one of them is a vampire. This book was published in 2007 so while everyone was really into Twilight, I was into this series. This is basically my Twilight. And lastly, the last book that I wanted to mention is Among the Hidden by Margaret Peterson Haydix. I'm pretty sure I read this book in sixth grade, so I was like 11 or 12. That's still pretty young, but this is a pretty dark book. This book basically takes place in a world where third children are illegal, but 
it follows this boy who happens to be the third child so he's in hiding and that's pretty much all I can remember but I think there are seven books in the series and I read through all seven of those books. I don't remember anything that happened past the first book. I remember the big thing that happened in the first book but other than that I don't remember anything else. This is the first dystopian book that I read. After this book I got into The Hunger Games. Those are all of my favorite childhood books. I would love to know what books you loved as a child. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!